Last night I was out here working on the car and I accidentally deleted some footage. And luckily, it wasn't a whole lot of footage, but it was definitely a few good clips in there. We got somewhere with this car. And since I deleted the footage on here, I did have it on my Instagram. So I'm gonna just drop that video right now. So that's where we're at right now with this car. We got it to crank, but we do have one problem going on. The only time we can get it to crank is if we jump the starter. So I had the starter wired in correctly. Um, when we would turn the key, there would be no crank, there would be no ticking, nothing. But if I tap the starter wire straight to the battery or straight to the ignition, and that's when it'll crank. Still no start, um, but that could be causing the issue. What we figured out is that there's probably an issue somewhere in the wiring. So what I'm gonna be doing is just finishing up everything else on the, on the, on the car. So today I'll be mounting the radiator the fans i'll be hooking up all the power steering stuff all of that and then once all that is done i'm just going to tow it over to hexa garage and they're going to figure out the wiring issue for me and that will essentially be when i first get to start it for the first time and hopefully drive it back from the shop if you guys remember a couple months back i told you guys i got this sponsorship with the mishimoto so i got a mishimoto radiator and some uh, mishimoto electric fans that i'm going to be hooking up today i also have this uh coolant temp gauge that I have to wire up inside the car. You guys probably already know, I'm terrible when it comes to electrical stuff, but I'm really trying to give this a shot. I watched a lot of videos and try to get as informed as possible so I know exactly what I'm doing. So, I don't have a fire extinguisher, that's the bad part, but you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot. I have a faith that I can knock this out myself, even though I hate electrical stuff. But hey, let's give it a shot. So I stopped by O'Reilly's and I picked up a few things. Um, I got a 10 gauge wire right here got an inline fuse uh the relay relay holder and a switch um because i'm gonna be wiring the fans to a switch i was originally gonna be wiring them to like a uh, automatic control so that they just turn on at a certain temperature but i figured it'd be a lot easier to just wire it this way to a switch and that way um you know i could just always control when they're on and when they're not so i feel like it'll be more um convenient for it to be that way and then you know it just got some zip ties got some uh wire covers or whatever these are called to make it look a little nicer and some hose clamps just in case i need them today so yeah guys like i said it's gonna be my first time really working on electrical stuff like this i really hate electrical things but let's go ahead and knock this out i will post a link to a video that i watch as a how-to just in case you guys want to know all right guys so right here i have the mishimoto fans and radiator so i'm just gonna pull these out really quick not really an unboxing because I have another video where uh, I'm basically showing that already. If you haven't watched that video, just hit that link right there. Check that out. Here we go. We got the big Mishimoto radiator. The big M right there stands for Martin the Goat, custom made. Then we got the fans right here. And this is the part that I'm uh, worried about because I figure out how to wire these fans. And like I said, me and electricals don't get along. But yeah, let's go ahead and
Hell yeah! I did that. I did that. I did that. Hell yeah, guys. It took me a while because I literally watched so many videos and just took my time with it because I'm terrible at electrical stuff. So I really took my time, made sure I got everything right. If you guys want to know how I did it, it's pretty simple, but I'm not going to explain. I'm going to just put a link in the description to a video that I watched. It definitely helped me out a lot. But uh, fans and radiator is officially on. So now I'm just going to put the hoses on, do all that stuff. And once I'm done with the hoses, I'm just going to finish up on the power steering stuff. lower hose is installed i'm so happy i got the fans working hey <laughs> but anyways yeah i just gotta put this upper hose now um i do have a glow shift temperature gauge i do have to cut the hose and install the adapter for the temperature sensor so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out right now and sun is starting to go down it'll be dark in like 30 45 minutes so let's just knock as much out as possible before then. I don't know what was going on in my head, but uh, whoops. <laughs> Accidentally cut the hose too short. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll just finish this another day i'm gonna have to buy another a new hose i'm not sure if i showed you guys also but i did finish up connecting the power steering so that's connected right there to the power steering pump um the rack is connected down there you won't be able to see it um but then i do have both hoses coming out front right here and both of those are going to be going to the power steering cooler which i have right here i'm probably going to go ahead and install this right now try to knock it out place it um I say, I don't know if I want it like in the middle or how I want it. Let's see. And there it is, guys. It's not completely mounted because I realized I don't have any any hardware to mount this on here. So I'll probably um, stop by the store tomorrow and grab some pins that I can shove through here. But that's basically how it's gonna how it's gonna sit. Um, I cut the the hoses to length and that's all connected now so just a matter of uh getting it properly secured onto the radiator and that'll be good to go up here um apart from this terrible error everything is basically good um the thermostat hose is good all the way there uh the power steering lines are hooked up the power steering cooler you guys just saw that and everything else is uh basically ready all i'm waiting for right now is for um hexa to send me a transmission mount so i can put that on and once that's on it's just a matter of figuring out the issue as to why it doesn't uh start when we wire the starter wire straight to the starter um, but hexa is going to be taking care of that so sometime next week i say this car will be getting towed over there that's gonna be it for today's part of the video you guys already saw the progress we have made on the 240 everything is coming along very very nicely i'm super excited to get this done but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna keep this going i'm not sure if tomorrow or the next day who knows but for tonight peace out three days later just came back from o'reilly and i bought this uh coolant hose and honestly i don't even know for what car this is i just went to the back started looking at their hoses and i thought this one had this slight bend right here that i thought would work perfectly right there since i accidentally cut this hose too short you guys could pause the video right now and go comment down below and tell me how stupid i am yes i know <laughs> but yeah i'm about to go ahead and just uh take this one off and put this one on and hopefully this fits correctly not really doing much today i probably should have ended this video you know the other day when i was working on it because i don't really have much else to do to it until it goes to the shop which is going to be another video but i decided not to so i'm gonna just do this and that'll be the end of it all right guys this hose worked out perfectly so you see i cut um a lot of it 
most of it. I actually ended up cutting it three times because I cut it one time, made it long, you know, on purpose just to test it out and see how it would fit. Um, I cut it one more time, it was still a little bit too long, so then I cut it a third time and now fits perfect. Um, these clamps right here though, this one specifically, this one is as tight as it can go. And look at this. So I'm gonna go buy some new hose clamps so i can swap these two out right here i'm also going to swap um all of these because they're all the same style so i'm just going to swap all of them out over to this style because this one also it is on the tightest it can go right there and you can still move it around like you can see on the hose um that it does still move right there and we don't want that we don't have we don't want to have any leaks or anything like that so i'm gonna just swap all these clamps over uh, i'm gonna throw some oil in here and we still gotta wire um the temperature gauge so i'll probably end up doing this a little bit later today So I got done editing the vlog and then I realized I did not even get an outro. So tomorrow's Christmas guys. So Merry Christmas to you guys. If you guys don't celebrate Christmas, then happy holidays to happy everybody. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, happy holidays to everybody. Um, I asked on my Instagram when you guys wanted me to upload this video and I, like 90% of the people said Christmas morning, which is tomorrow. So yeah, we're just getting ready to have family over right now. Uh, my girl over here, she's over here busting down some lumpy and she's not even aging. Like, what? Where did you learn these skills? Uh, you just gotta teach yourself, you know? You gotta teach yourself? That's kinda that's how hard. I did. Hey, that's kinda how I did. It's perfect that she says that because I did not know anything going into swapping a motor into a car. But I typed that and we're almost there. Just how she attacked this lumpia. And look how amazing that looks. Oh my God. We got some bread right here because what'd you make for the bread? Uh, we got some crab dip, cheese dip in the oven along with some stuffed pasta shells. God <laughs> damn, you, I swear to God. When I tell you, she's the best cook I've ever met in my life. Oh my God, amazing. And then we got this girl right here that Tiny decided she wanted to buy her some pajamas and she's stuck over here. Like she doesn't know what to do. She, I feel like she thinks she's in trouble. <laughs> hi <laughs> but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button comment something down below and once again happy holidays to everybody i'll see you guys next year peace